My name is Mary Toscano and I'm a certified nutrition educator. One of the most important times it's absolutely imperative to have this knowledge is during pregnancy. What most people don't know is the brain is made up of 60% fats. Fats are absolutely critical to a high functioning, sharp, intelligent mind. During the last trimester of pregnancy, 80% of the work being done on the fetus is focused on the brain. The brain will actually double in size. So if the brain is made up of 60% fats, it is vital that mom be getting high quality essential fats into her diet. It is equally important that she avoid the damaged fats like trans fats so they don't find their way into the baby's brain. Getting good fats in the diet is also important after the baby is born because breast milk will be high in fats to continue this brain growth. One of the most important fats to be getting in the diet are fats from the omega-3 family. Omega-3 fats are fast-moving fats that are critical for optimal brain and eye function. These fats are called essential fatty acids, which means the body can't make them on its own. It needs to get them from food. So if mom is not diligent about getting omega-3 into her diet, the fetus will take it from her largest source her brain. Now, how many moms do you know that say they lose their brain after the baby is born? They have problems with focus, concentration, memory, depression, you know, postpartum depression. We need these fats as much as the baby does. But most people don't know the difference between a good fat and a bad fat, and they don't want to get fat, so they just avoid them all. And with more kids than ever on drugs to correct imbalances in their brain, providing healthy fats that the brain needs is a good place to start. It is particularly important information for pregnant and nursing moms since they are providing the fats necessary for developing brain. And typical prenatal vitamins are not going to cover this need. It's time we start getting fats back into our diet in a healthy way and get off this low fat craze which is causing more damage than good to our health.